Hey everybody, it's Call Fireman here. I'm bringing you another video of Battleborn. Today though, we're going to be focusing on character selection. Um, so as you can see on this picture that I've got up here for you, this is all the characters in Battleborn. Um, obviously three of them are highlighted, so I'm going to go through sort of my own decision-making process of who to choose. Um, I only have three highlighted. Those are going to be the uh, three of my other teammates choices generally speaking you don't have all four teammates choose before you can choose so I wanted it to be pretty real realistic I wanted it to sort of mimic what you're gonna see when you actually play the game so for this first one here uh, we're assuming one person on the team chose Ernest somebody else chose Ambra and somebody else chose Marquis so the things that I know about each one of these characters, one, Ernest, he does a huge amount of damage to the minion wave. If you have an Ernest on your team, you should be able to control the minion wave with ease. Um, he's not all that great in one-on-one -on -one scenarios. He's kind of easier to kill himself, but generally speaking, he's got enough defensive attributes, and he can put out enough damage quickly enough that uh, he's not going to get crushed in one-on-one -on -one situations, but his main attribute is he's going to control that minion wave, so I know we'll be able to keep map control pretty well. Next, uh, the Ombra. Ombra is also good at minion wave and or at minion wave clearing, and she's a healer, so we have a healer, so I don't have to worry about that as much. Um, and then finally we have Marquis, and Marquis is a sniper, he does huge damage, he can also clear the minion wave. So if we look at all three of these together, uh, we should have no problem clearing the minion wave. Uh, so we should be able to keep map control. We have a healer, the only problem is each one of these characters is a squishy, and by squishy I mean they don't have a whole lot of health and they have no tank abilities. So in this scenario, um, I don't even necessarily need to choose a tank who's going to do a lot of damage. If I choose someone who does a lot of stunning, uh, everybody else should be able to finish them off. The main thing is, is I need someone who I can run up and stand in, in the front of the battle lines and just take all the heat off the rest of my characters so that they can do their work. So um, some good tanks to choose would be something like a boulder. Uh, Kelvin would be great. Uh, Galileo would be great. The one thing you have to remember though is uh, with uh, characters like this, you want to be right up there in the front. So it might not be all that great of an idea to do someone like a Montana or, or an Isaac because those those are ranged tanks, and ranged tanks um, sit a little bit farther back than melee tanks. So, I mean, I could. I also want to do uh, someone who's a main tank. So I don't really want to do somebody like a Phoebe. She wouldn't be all that great because she's she's a decent tank, but not all. She's not like a great tank. Um, I could do a Shane of Oryx because he's a melee tank that gets up there in people's faces. Um, but again, in this scenario for this uh, character selection before mine, I would definitely want to go with the tank. Now for this next one, the three choices that I have up here, we have a Shane and Oryx, a Whiskey Foxtrot, and a Wrath. Now the one thing you have to remember on this is... Um, these, all three of these characters have a lot of uh, sort of health regen, a lot of survivability. Shane is a tank who has a huge shield, so he doesn't really need to be healed very much. Uh, Whiskey Foxtrot, once he hits level 5, if he's, I guess, leveled up all the way, if he's played Whiskey enough, then uh, he'll get 220 health regen after every kill, so he won't need much healing. Wrath also has a lot of life seal, so he won't need a huge amount of healing. So there's two ways you can go about this. One, obviously you don't have a healer, so you could choose a healer. But two, all of your characters that have been chosen so far, they have a lot of sustainability on their own. So you could hope that your teammate chooses a healer and then just choose another person with a lot of sustainability yourself. Um, so one person who would be very good would be someone like a boulder. Boulder has a huge amount of health regen, um, and then he can get... Uh, life, or it's not really life steal, it's block steal, I guess. You can steal, or you can t regenerate health based on the amount of damage you block with your shield. Uh, another thing that's good about Boulder is because he's a tank, uh, you would take damage away from the rest of your team, like you can have them focus fire you, and uh, that allows the rest of your team to survive, even if your other guy wouldn't choose a healer. Um, 
you could also just choose someone who has a lot of sustainability themselves um, because the, the other thing you have to remember too is whiskey does a huge amount of damage to the minion wave so does wrath shane is okay at it so you've got a lot of minion damage what you don't have is a huge amount of range uh, shane is a melee character so is wrath so if you have too many melee characters you're gonna have trouble attacking that sentry so you you could choose someone like a melka uh, melka has a lot of health regen and she's a ranged character you could choose someone like a thorn she's got a lot of health regen especially if you put the right gear on her she's hard to hit and she has uh, ranged attack obviously um, you could choose a Beatrix that would be another good one especially because you have two melee characters and Beatrix is generally better for melee although with the increased attack speed that you get on her she's also great for someone like a whiskey and if you put the uh, I don't remember what you call it it's her skill that gives him the increased attack rate and lifesteal on a whiskey when he does his ultimate, that would be absolutely massive. But in this one, just remember your team has a lot of health regen and they're very well, um, they're w very well rounded as far as clearing minion waves, doing a bunch of damage. You have a good ranged character as well as melee characters. So you could either go with just a healing person or someone else who has quite a bit of sustainability. This third one here, we are playing with the Kid Ultra, a Cleese, and a Montana. Uh, one thing that you always need to remember when you have a Cleese on your team is it's best to choose somebody who has shields. Uh, you also have a, a Kid Ultra, so you've got more than enough support. You've got a great, a really good healer, and then um, obviously Cleese does shield regen. I don't consider Cleese a healer because shield regen is not the same as health regen. Health regen is far better, I guess. Um, but anyways, if I was playing with this combination right here, the one thing that I would have to remember is that we do not have any characters who are melee characters. So if they try and run up and get in our face, we're going to have a bit of trouble. Um, so I might try and go for a melee character who has a shield. Uh, the better shield, or the larger shield, the better. Um, so Phoebe is would be a great choice here. She's got a lot of she gets a huge shield it's like 540 uh, just through her levels alone she's a melee character who can really get in there and keep the team off of uh or keep the enemy team off of your team that would be a great choice shane and oryx would be another great choice he's got a huge shield uh, you could choose someone like a galilea their shield's not as big but uh, anyone who has a shield can be useful with this cleese um you could also choose a Kelvin. One thing that I don't see a lot of people do is uh, Kelvin and Cleese is a great combo because Kelvin, generally speaking, doesn't have much of a shield, but he can actually get his shield to recharge with Cleese's energy rifts. And so that's a great choice to have in this sort of a scenario. But right here, I would focus mainly on choosing someone who is a melee character. And another reason why I would choose a melee character is because even though Montana does a huge amount of damage, he's not good at wave clearing. Cleese isn't that good at wave clearing unless the minion wave gets close. <clears throat> Kid Ultra is pretty good at it, but he's not good enough that he can really clear it uh, on his own. You really want somebody to help him out with it. And melee characters, obviously, they can attack more than one thing with uh, each one of their slices. As long as the people are within range, you can hit as many minions as you can. So someone like Galileo would be very good for this. Um, or just for the aspect of having wave clear. Uh, I did say Shane and Oryx. Shane and Oryx is okay at the wave clear, but obviously someone like Galileo would be a lot better. You could also do somebody like a Wrath or... Um, Again, I guess the best one, I think, in this scenario, because you have someone with shield regen, would be somebody like a Phoebe. Because Phoebe can do quite a bit of damage to the, minion, to the minions because she's a melee character and she has a huge shield. This fourth one here... Uh, we've got a Boulder, Kelvin, and Montana. Obviously, these are all three tanks. Um, so what you absolutely need here is you need a healer. Uh, it doesn't really matter who the healer is, but it needs to be uh, one of the five main healers. I wouldn't choose Reyna. The five main healers, just in case you guys don't already know, it's Alana, or not Alana, Alani, Ombra, Reyna, Miko, and Kid Ultra. Those are the actual healers. Reyna is the weakest healer. She's generally someone who you choose if you already have one healer and you want a little bit more healing but want some good DPS and uh, Reyna is really good at finishing people but uh, if I were playing in this one I would either choose Alani, Ambra, Miko or Kid Ultra. It doesn't really matter that much. The only thing that I would say is that um, because they all have high health I'm pretty sure Alani's healing is based upon how much health the target has 
that you're healing. So if you're playing with a team that has a lot of tanks, it's always good to use an Alani because she'll be able to heal them. Or her healing increases with the... Uh, amount of health that the rest of your team has so because this team has a lot of health it would be good to use an Alani um, this next one that we have let's say your team chooses a Miko Thorn Toby uh, if you look at this team setup right here you've got two snipers uh, who they actually can do decent wave clear both of these guys um, the Thorn and the Toby uh, obviously the Miko is not going to do very much damage and you really need him just for healing but neither the Toby or Thorn is a good choice with the Miko Miko doesn't really complement them at all uh, so you really want to choose someone who's good for the Miko now if you ever have to choose someone who pairs good with the Miko you want a melee character uh, generally speaking a melee character that doesn't have a good escape skill so you wouldn't want to choose someone like Kelvin because he'll use his permafrost to get out of there but that leaves his Miko hanging Atticus uses his pounce so Atticus and Miko is not all that great of a combo however you could use somebody like a Galilea Galilea Miko is one of my favorite combos especially when you use her level 3 upgrade that um, basically doubles her damage when she's at full health so you just keep that Miko stuck on the Galilea basically the full game that's how you want to do it uh, you could do somebody like a Phoebe um, you want to make sure for this choice that you do someone who has a decent amount of tanking ability so Phoebe and Galilea like Galilea has a shield Phoebe has huge health and shields um, you wouldn't really want to do someone like an El Dragon even though El Dragon can do decent damage he's He's very weak. He's a, I, I wouldn't choose El Dragon like almost ever, but that's just because he's they've really nerfed him. Um, he really needs a buff. He does good damage, but he's very easily killed. Um, but in this scenario, you definitely want someone who is a melee character uh, who will be able to tank for you. And again, don't choose someone ha who has some sort of skill to get out of there because that really puts Miko in bad situation. So you wouldn't really want a Boulder or a Kelvin or an Atticus, but you could choose someone like a Shane, a Galilea, or a Phoebe, or even a Wrath. Um, always remember if you have a pocket Miko on somebody, and in this scenario the Toby and the Thorn really shouldn't need heal that much, but a pocket Miko on a melee character can make even characters such as a Wrath who doesn't have that much health, it can make someone like that actually become a tank just because they have that consistent healing going into them so they'll be able to kill the, their targets before the target kills them. For our sixth um, picture here, for our sixth um, scenario, I guess is the best word for it, uh, we've got an Alani, a Boulder, and a Kelvin. So none of these characters do huge damage. You can't actually get a lot of damage with an Alani over the course of a game, but it's not like a lot of directed damage. She does decent area of effect damage, and she can get a lot of damage on minions and whatnot. But Boulder doesn't do that much damage, and neither does Kelvin. Um, however, both of them are tanks, and both of them are melee characters. So what you would want to look for is someone who is a shooter, but someone who can do quite a bit of damage. So you might go with a sniper like Marquis or Toby or a Thorn um, or just anybody who can do a lot of damage when these people stun. Always remember Boulder has a stun, Kelvin has a stun, Alani has a stun. So if they chain their stuns together, like let's say Bol Boulder stuns someone into a wall and then Kelvin uses permafrost and then Alani bubbles them up in the air, you want someone who can do enough damage to these people uh, while they are stunned so that you can kill them. You could also use another melee character like a Galilea. That would be a super overpowered um, team choice because you have so many stuns going on and Galilea can really put the finishing touches on somebody but generally speaking you want a shooter so you might instead choose someone like an Oscar Mike, Whiskey Foxtrot, you know Thorn, Toby, Marquis, uh, just some sort of shooter who does a lot of damage. You could even choose someone like a Caldarius because uh, with Caldarius the main thing is you want to make sure that you don't take too much damage and if the rest of your team is stunning the enemies then you can literally stand in front of their face and just hit criticals on them while they're stunned and that really bumps up the amount of damage per second called Darius can do and it makes him more than just a flanker but he can be a massive DPS so long as he can just stand still so getting those criticals are easy for the se seventh scenario, um, I'm assuming that your team chooses Beatrix, Melka, and Thorn. Obviously, you've got quite a bit of uh, health regeneration, quite a bit of sustainability on your team. This is another one where you might just decide, you know, I'm going to go with a sustain or, or a character with good sustainability 
but uh, leave the healer to your other player, like just hope that your other player will choose the healer. So you could go with, again, a boulder who's got a lot of health regen. You could go with uh, a Deonde or a Wrath. Both of those characters have good health regen. Whiskey's got good health regen. Um, the one thing I would potentially want to focus on in this scenario is a melee character so although whiskey is good if you have a whiskey you don't have anyone pushing the front line so Deandi and Wrath would have a bit of an advantage on him you could choose someone like Shane and Oryx because even though he doesn't have high health regen his shield is high enough that it's very hard to kill him so that would be another good choice in this scenario um, Basically, in this scenario, though, what you want is someone who's got good sustainability and could possibly play as a tank, too. I guess you could do someone like a Cleese. Um, even though the rest of your team doesn't use shields, if you used a Cleese, you would be able to keep yourself alive, even though you don't have very much... Uh, very much healing uh, as the rest of your team or your, the rest of your team doesn't have very much healing but Cleese on his own he's got good sustainability so that could be a decent choice but again with Cleese you want to pair Cleese if possible with a bunch of characters who have a lot of shields but in this scenario you could go without a healer and just hope that your other guy picks that healer um, as long as you choose someone who doesn't need a huge amount of healing yourself and then finally this eighth one is going to be our last one uh, we for this scenario, you've got a boulder, a Reyna, and an Oscar Mike. So you've got two shooters. Um, that's pretty good. The boulder is a good tank. Um, the Reyna does okay healing, and the Reyna will do enough healing for the Oscar Mike. The boulder shouldn't need that much healing. Um, so you don't necessarily need to choose another healer. You could choose another healer just to make sure your team pushes real hard, but that could put you in a weird spot if your other guy doesn't choose someone who um, really needs a healer. Or if they choose someone who sits back, like if some if a marquee is chosen by your other guy and you choose a healer, you're not really going to be of much help to your team. Um, so in this scenario, you might decide that you want to go for someone who is a melee character who can get in there, but who... Um, has quite a bit of sustainability so again uh, Deonde or Wrath could be really good. Um, you could also do somebody like a Pendles in this scenario because Pendles doesn't need much healing and he can kind of finish people off and you've got the stun by Boulder which Pendles can follow up on a stun real well and then Oscar can shoot him obviously he can put a lot of damage into him and if they try and retreat and get out of Oscar's sights you could finish him up as a Pendles but in this scenario the main thing that you want to really be paying attention to is the fact that you've got a tank a tank who doesn't need healed much you've got an Oscar Mike and because he goes in stealth he shouldn't need healed much but he'll do quite a bit of damage and then Reyna is very hard to kill she won't need any healing she'll be able to finish people off so in this scenario you've got quite a bit of free reign to choose who basically whoever you want want just so long as you don't need a huge amount of healing so you wouldn't want someone like an Atticus uh, you probably wouldn't want a Montana or a Kelvin but so long as the person doesn't need a huge amount of healing and in this scenario you, you don't need a huge amount of um, lifesteal either you could choose somebody like uh, an Ernest or a Galilea a Galilea could be very good because you've got that shield so anytime your sheet your actual shields go down like your energy shields go down you put up that shield and block and just make sure you don't take too much damage but again in this scenario um, you just have to remember that you don't have a huge amount of healing so your your choice needs to be based upon that so as you can see the best way to learn how to choose the right character before you get into a game is to know how to play all the characters but some of the main important aspects of uh, uh, ensuring that your team is balanced is you got to make sure you've got a lot of area of effect damage and that is to clear minion waves you generally speaking want at least one melee character and at least one shooter um, you generally speaking want at least one healer and one tank um, and then your questions become uh, which ones sort of gel with each other real well if your tank has a lot of health and is and needs a lot of healing like a Kelvin or a Montana or an Atticus you need a healer who's gonna heal a lot if you have a healer that doesn't necessarily heal that much but applies shields like the Reyna or a Cleese then you want you want a tank who uh, has high shields or high survivability like a Boulder or a Shane and Oryx um, there's really a lot going into this but uh, the main way to really learn how to choose characters correctly is just to play as as many characters as you can and then after a while you'll sort of start to see where the weaknesses are in your team before your team actually gets on the battlefield and that's really a very important aspect to Battleborn because a lot of people actually lose the game before the game even starts so 
again, just play it quite a bit and you'll end up figuring that out.